right now at 10, dealing with a disaster. Being trapped here is frustrating. Record rainfall ruins homes, strands drivers, and prompts emergency declarations. But right now, it's just there's just a lot of mud everywhere. Operations at the second largest food pantry in the state are suspended indefinitely after their warehouse was inundated with flood water. Severe weather alerts remain up for Kauai and Oahu tonight, but more stable trade wind weather is on the way. I'll have the timetable coming up. Plus, a man is shot to death while trying to enter an Eva Beach home. In high definition, from KGMB and KHNL, this is your source for breaking news. Hawaii News Now at 10. Historic flooding leaves remote communities on Kauai's North Shore underwater. Check out the damage to vehicles and the restrooms at Hanalei Pier, inundated by flash flooding. Authorities on Kauai are urging people to shelter in place with the threat of more rain overnight. They're waiting for the severe weather to ease up so they can start to assess the extensive damage. Several homes on Veke Road along Hanalei Bay suffered major damage during the intense storm. Over in Wainiha, Cresta Kay's friends visiting from Colorado snapped this dramatic photo. At least two homes were swept off their foundations. They were told to shelter in place in the home that they were renting next door but their car had been washed away. They couldn't get to the road. In Kalihiwai Valley, Leah Weldon evacuated with her mother and three-year-old twins when the floodwaters quickly started rising. The other house on my property was floating away. Um, and it started to turn towards our house. And I said, we need to go now. Uh, so we went out the back door and stepped down off the porch into chest high raging river water. When she went back in the morning, her house had shifted 10 feet and another home on the property had moved about 80 feet. Over in Hanalei, Sierra Bond spent the night in a restaurant with her husband and two-year-old daughter since they couldn't return to their home in Haena. There's people camping out in stores. There's people camping out in the bar down the road like a bunch of tourists. So... Everyone's just kind of trying to find somewhere to stay. There were at least eight landslides on Kuhio Highway, leaving communities isolated and cut off. Flooding and landslides and sinkholes and cars being washed away everywhere. You can see cars down the road all over the place. County crews conducted search and rescue operations with several residents trapped inside their homes or on rooftops. The Coast Guard assisted picking up stranded hikers near Hanalei Bay and Hanakapi'ai Beach. Governor Ige and Kauai's mayor signed emergency proclamations. This is an unprecedented emergency for our island. Our hazardous conditions made it difficult for first responders to access most of the remote locations. The Hanalei Taro and Juice Company says it got slammed by devastating flash floods twice on Sunday. It's into the garage, the farmhouse our nonprofit uh, agrarian museum, Ho'opulapula Harguchi rice mill, the artifacts are being affected. We can't see any of the taro, the kalo fields, they're completely drowning underwater. And in Anahola, residents are busy cleaning up after evacuating. Barry Gilbert lost his tractor in the storm. About five o'clock, it was really torrential running through here and it built up to about four blocks from my deck on this point all the way around. Hanalei Elementary School will be closed tomorrow and due to the severe weather, Hawaiian Airlines is waiving reservation change fees for travelers with tickets to and from Lihue between April 14th and 16th. As for road closures, Kuhio Highway is shut down in two spots. One is between Waikoko and Wainiha due to landslides. The other is between Princeville and the Hanalei Bridge due to flooding. Hanalei Plantation Road in Princeville is also blocked because of a sinkhole. And the Mauka part of Kahili Holo Road at Kalihiwai Ridge is closed until further notice due to severe erosion. The Red Cross Emergency Shelter at Hanalei Elementary School ran out of food and water for the 40 people there earlier today. The original plan was to airlift them. The Coast Guard and the Kauai Fire Department was supposed to airlift them to another shelter, um, the Church of the Pacific. But the weather wouldn't cooperate and the helicopters were grounded. 
This evening, county officials said the Big Safe store in Hanalei and AMR worked together to provide water and food to the shelter. Meanwhile, Red Cross volunteers on Oahu started their damage assessments yesterday. Six teams of volunteers went out today to look at every, every place from Kulio'o and Ainahaina all the way to Waimanalo and Kailua as well. And we were also distributing cleanup kits because people were mucking out their houses. The Red Cross plans to follow up with casework later on. Severe weather alerts are still up for much of the state, including the Garden Isle. Ben's here with the very latest. Thanks very much, uh, Lisa. There is some improvement on the horizon. The flash flood watch that was posted statewide has been canceled for Maui County and the Big Island, but it still remains in effect for Kauai, Niihau, and Oahu through tomorrow morning because of the continued threat of heavy rain and thunderstorms. And the flash flood warning has been extended for the entire island until 1045 tonight, mainly due to high stream levels and heavy runoff. There's still some areas of heavy rain, especially for the North Kauai area. Very stubborn there, but there is obviously some relief on the way. The upper disturbance that triggered the event is slowly moving off to the west, but there's still some disturbances that are close by the Garden Isle. They seem to be diminishing at this hour. Now, more than 27 inches of rain fall, fell in the 24 hours that ended at 8 o'clock this morning. Since records have been kept for a Hanalei in 1905, the last heavy rain event was in March 2020. 12 to only 12 and a half inches fell in a 24 hour period and it took 33 uh, three days rather for 33 inches to fall. So this shatters the two day record as well. I'll look ahead at your work week coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Ben. One of the only food banks in East Oahu is closed indefinitely after getting pummeled by Friday's flash flood. A thick layer of mud coated the floor of Angel Network Charities in Aina Haina. Allison Blair continues our team coverage. This is the actual pantry itself that's now covered in mud. Sunday morning, the state's second largest food bank found itself in an unfamiliar position. The organization responsible for distributing groceries to thousands of East Oahu families each month is now the one in need. You'll see mud in all of the refrigerators. A wall of water more than two feet high inundated Angel Network charities on Friday. This morning, a group of volunteers showed up unannounced to help with the cleanup. Some people can afford to have a contractor and then a lot of people um, can't. And so we're kind of looking for those folks that, um, you know, that might just need some people to show up and do some shoveling. The food pantry is operated by Calvary by the Sea Church. Much of the property was ravaged by the storm. In addition to damage in the pantry, floodwaters ripped through an adjoining room, causing the floors to buckle. So everything has lifted. There's evidence the kitchen and the office were also underwater. Everything will have to go. There's mud in the drawers. Our buildings have been beaten, but remember, our church is not the building. Across the lawn, parishioners gathered for Sunday service. Today's message, do not be defined by disaster. If anything, this is going to bring us and the neighborhood together. While some members listened to the sermon, others chose to live it. Right now, we don't have a timeline to reopen. It really depends on how much support we get financially and, and volunteer-wise and, and whatever the insurance will pay. Initial estimates put damage at $100,000. In Aina Haina, Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now. Classes are also canceled at the church's preschool. Calvary by the Sea of Montessori suffered extreme damage to all of its classrooms and the playground. We had a, over a foot of water come into the, the preschool and the office, thus ruining all the carpet, all the um, teaching materials, books that were near the floor, um, all the computers. Right now, school officials are searching for a temporary place to hold classes until the repairs are complete. Nearby in Aina Haina, the Waldorf School is also coping with the aftermath of flooding. The school says up to eight inches of mud and water washed through the Mackay campus of their high school. High school classes are canceled for tomorrow. Kilohana Preschool will also be shut down due to the flooding. The campus in New Valley will be closed until at least Tuesday as debris, water and mud are cleaned up. A Waimanalo landmark is still reeling from all of the recent heavy rain.
The polo fields off Kalani Anaole Highway were completely underwater. Stable operators with the Therapeutic Horsemanship of Hawaii, which is housed at the fields, had to rush to get their animals to dry land. Animals like miniature horses are brought to hospitals to serve those with disabilities. Water from the downpour overran the irrigation ditch and flooded many of the corrals. Several vehicles used to transport the animals to the hospitals were also damaged in the flooding. We had to get our little animals, our mini horses and our goats and the pig up to drier land. Um, by the time it came in so fast that we couldn't evacuate them, so we just had to get them up on the highest point we could. The nonprofit says it appreciates any donations or volunteers willing to help out. Head to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, for information on how you can pitch in. A neighborhood board member alerted us to this potential problem in Waimanalo. Check out the erosion right up against the edge of the beach side of Kalani Anaole Highway. Some residents are worried that more of the highway will give way. Crews have set up barricades in the area to warn drivers. The cleanup process has begun for another nonprofit devastated by floodwaters in Waimanalo, Kui Malama Okekai. An after school program for local kids and teens was swamped with mud. Important paperwork was destroyed in the facility off Hihimanu Street. Youth Build Waimanalo is one of the programs housed there. What we're trying to do is just clean up and get it ready. It's going to be a long process, probably a couple weeks of getting it back to normal and back to our beautiful site that we used to have. The group is still scheduled to hold a 32-hour marathon building project in early May. They're looking for volunteers to help construct an authentic canoe hale. And stay with Hawaii News Now for the latest on the severe weather on air, online, and on your mobile app. Right now on our digital platforms, we have a slideshow of the storm damage. Coming up, the death toll and weather challenges as a raging wildfire scorches Oklahoma communities. Plus, some unusual structures will soon be going up in Windward, Oahu. Find out what they'll be used for when we return. Work for the Kapolei Interchange Complex project continues tonight. All westbound lanes are closed along the H1 freeway from the Makakilo Drive overpass until 5 a.m. And in town, two right lanes are closed along the H1 westbound. Crews are working on the guardrails between the Vineyard Exit and the Pali Highway overpass until 4 a.m. Don't forget to download the Hawaii News Now app where you can always get real-time traffic updates. I'm Lacey Denise. Start off your work week commute with me tomorrow morning right here on Sunrise starting at 4.30 a.m. From Hawaii News Now and your team for severe weather, this is your forecast with Ben Gutierrez. Looks like our wild weekend weather finally winding down across the state, and that includes Kauai, which is still under a flash flood warning as we still have these moderate to heavy showers stubbornly remaining up near the Hanalei area. But it looks like that is finally starting to taper off. We've had a few showers moving in on the tradewind flow for the Ko'olau Range in Windward, Oahu. We've also had uh, pretty much the same story, but pretty quiet for the islands of Maui County. A little earlier this evening, we did have a flood advisory up for the Hilo and Puna districts. Still a few heavy showers are firing up, but for now, we don't have any advisories up for you on that island. The disturbance that has been the troublemaker is moving off to the west, and as it does, we're gonna have more stable conditions, much drier, but we'll still have the breezy trade winds. By tomorrow afternoon, we're anticipating much drier conditions over the state, but we'll still have a lot of these high clouds as we head into Tuesday. Rainfall accumulations will still be on the higher side, but not torrential for Kauai. Could get a to about three inches for Lihue. Hilo, you may get about an inch and a half, and you can see the rainfall totals elsewhere are going to be pretty scant. That compares to the rainfall totals we've had over the last 24 hours for Kauai. Mount Waialeale picking up 19 and a half inches. Wainiha 11 inches and so just a drenching for the Garden Isles. Still some thunderstorms and possible tonight and frequent showers tomorrow. The rest of the state should be mostly cloudy with windward and Mauka showers with breezy trades right around 15 to 25 miles per hour. We still have a small craft advisory posted for all Hawaiian waters, but that'll expire tomorrow morning for Kauai and and Oahu waters also expiring tomorrow morning. A high surf advisory for east facing shores 
Surf will remain around 5 to 8 feet out east. And the surf on the north and west facing shore is going down pretty quick. 4 to 6 north and 2 to 4 for west facing shores. 1 to 3 in the south side. So we will be drier, not completely dry. We'll have windward and mountain showers and breezy trades. Those trades will uh, go down a little bit as we head into Thursday. Finally, some windy but mostly sunny weather for the upcoming weekend. We'll be right back. Finally tonight, the National Weather Service needs your help to start the rebuilding process following the severe weather during the last few days. The agency is urging residents in affected areas to download the MPing app to submit flood reports. This will help authorities immediately find problem areas and determine which spots suffered the most damage. And our Ashley Nagaoka is on Kauai tonight and will be doing live reports starting tomorrow morning on sunrise. And Ben, the Garden Isle could be in for more rain overnight. Yes, uh, there's still that possibility. We still have that flash flood watch that is posted for Ni'ihau, Kauai and Oahu and a flash flood warning which will be set to expire at 1045. But it still could be renewed because of the fact that we still have a lot of runoff and the possibility of any flooding just because any rain that falls on saturated ground will run right off. That does it for us. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you later.